What's up everybody, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. I know you guys usually like to see my lineup. Um, I forgot to put it in this week's video. That's my bad. You can see his team, those crazy. He's got red chems everywhere. So I'm playing today against a creep tag. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I am a, about 99% sure this is somebody who's already made it to the Ultimate League or the final, the, the Madden Bowl, the final tournament. They've already qualified. They're a very, very good player. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's one of the top players in the world and we can move on to the game. He are, we already played him once uh, before this. He beat my head in pretty darn good and then he lurked me again, so we're playing back to back. This is the second game of the two. First game wasn't good. You weren't, you wouldn't probably learn anything from it. Um, but this is the this is the second one and this is a really, really good one. You see he has the ball first and uh, we have him on a fourth down and six. Trying to get off the field here. He goes to bunch curl flat. We're all over the corner route and we manned up his drag and we have a zone there to get the stop. So perfect start, we get a stop. Um, since we already played him, we already knew what he wanted to do. We knew he liked, uh, as we throw a laser right there. Oh my goodness gracious, that's hot. Uh, but we knew he went, he on his big downs, he went to bunch girl flat with a drag that he liked the playmaker up. That's why we manned it. Um, you guys wouldn't have seen that from the last game, but that's just something you could know as to why I did that defense on that fourth down. I knew to go to that. So second down to 10 here, after I threw the ball away. Um, as always, man, if you guys like what I'm running on offense and defense, Make sure you guys check out the description. I have all the stuff that I run on YouTube uh, in my eBooks. Um, it's literally all the same plays. I give you guys everything. Make sure you guys check that out. It's in the description. Um, and it just got an update literally uh, yesterday. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, right here we go to a PA slot corner. Perfect play call. Nice little toe tap from, uh, from Julio. And we're into the end zone. So perfect start to the game. We got the first stop and we got seven on our stop. So great start here. He missed his drag early, uh, but he had all day in the pocket, and he's able to hit his uh, his post route going upfield. So, good patience by him, knowing he had good blocking to take the bigger chunk than rather than his drag. And right here, we manned up his outside guy again, just like we did on his uh, on his bunch curl flat, but this time he was in uh, bunch trail, so he ends up getting a straight laser. My my safety got burnt the next week. Um, he's got he's got speed on him, so he should be getting burnt like that. I think it was 99 speed versus about. 94 95 so he got burned pretty good next play here um we're going to pa slot corner again and we're trying to bomb him deep with odell and we do just that so what he's doing on defense uh which is why he beat me pretty good the first time it kind of threw me off guard i didn't know who he was so i didn't know he was going to play like that and then he got a jump on me and I, I didn't play great after that so what he's doing is he runs big nickel over g as we get a dot 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 in the end zone and go up 14-7 He's manning up the whole field. He cross mans his safeties. He mans up his really fast linebackers. So everyone just has tons of speed. And he's manning up everywhere and tries to uh, tries to make you dot it. Um, but it's really really tough to spot uh, to score against when you have a lot of speed, which is what he has. Um, and we were able to we were able to bomb it over the top right there, which is what I'm going to need to do. You need to figure out where you can get your speed advantages as well as how far guys have to run on their man up to keep up with you. So we were able to pick up a big chunk right there, which is a big play, and we're up 14-7 with a stop. Um, right there, uh, he tried to scramble with his quarterback. We had a spy. Somehow he still gained three yards, which I was pretty frustrated about considering the fact we have like a 96-speed spy out there. But you guys saw at the beginning, he has 99-speed Vic, so... He actually has, I think, like 99 speed Vic, 99 speed receiver, 99 speed receiver, and a 98 speed receiver. So, not the easiest thing to play against by any stretch of the means. Uh, he's got offensive power everywhere, and he pretty much just has speed on defense, so he can man up his guys. But we force a third and goal here, which is uh, which is big. And we already got his red zone play from last game. Uh, we knew he was going to. We sorry, we just got his off his red zone play right there. After we saw that, we saw he had the corner out and the wheel from his running back. And this time you see me lurking on that entire side and I get get myself a hit stick. So I saw it the first play, I was able to get some pressure and he didn't get his pass off. Once I, but I, but I picked up on that and I told you guys this before. If you see something that your opponent does that's gonna be successful, you're like, okay, um, well he didn't get it right there but he should have gotten it because I got a shed. Now I'm gonna make sure he doesn't get it again. So he went back to the same exact play and I was all over it and right there, very, very blind. Very, very blind. I missed my zig, but I saw that I missed my zig. And I knew I was going to have it the next time going back to it. So I go back to it here, and I'm able to pick up a first down. Now, I probably should have thrown a pick on the play before. 
that was a bad read. I got lucky, but I learned from it. Just like just like with the red zone play, I saw what was going to work from him, and so I went out and lurked it the next time, and he wasn't able to get any yards, and I was able to turn him over. Right there, I threw a bad read, but I saw what was open, and I assumed he was going to make the same exact adjustments, which he did, and we were able to throw our wide open uh, route. Right here, we just tried to fit that post route in there, but we barely couldn't get our feet down. So tough break there. Um, puts us in a third and one situation. Uh, we're going to one of our favorite plays here. I think, and, I, and I, going into this game, I thought this post route would beat Crossman almost every single time. I learned from this play right here that I had to um, motion it if I was gonna have it beat Crossman. If I motion that, it'll crush it 10 out of 10 times. Um, but I did motion it right there. And because of that, he um, was able to he was able to pick it off, which is a big play by him, because um, we had a chance to go up two possessions and our ball at half. Um, but not the end of the world. Uh, we're still up a stop on him, and almost get the lurk right there. But regardless, we're still up a stop, and we're gonna get the ball back before halftime's over. So it's not the end of the world for that turnover to happen right there. But it was a big opportunity missed. And I'll leave it like that. But we get a sack to force him on a third down here. Third and ten. You really don't want to give up a give up a first down in this spot, especially in the red zone. It's gonna be tough to give up. You have to do something really stupid. Um, and we play really good defense. And you see him almost outrun my spy. That's Nickerson, 98 speed. I can't put a faster guy on a spy on my defense. Um, but luckily we're able to contain him and not give up any yards. So 14-10. Not a bad spot. Really, if I can get three before half, that's awesome. Go up 17-10, it's my ball at half, and have a chance to go up four, 10 or 14 after halftime. But we get a nice reroute up the field. His user is not fast enough, and we come down with it. So we get a huge chunk right there. So now we're almost guaranteed a field goal. Now I'm thinking, hey, if I get seven and go up 11 here, we're in prime shape to win this game. Right here, we try to go for an ag. We had outside positioning, so I was like, you know what, I have no timeouts. Why not just take a shot right here? But on that play, as I told you guys before, I saw my post route get open. And when I saw that, while I was throwing the ag, so you guys can see two things at once. Now I threw the ag, but I was like, okay, I saw that post route open. That post route could have been a big game. I went back to the exact same play, and I got that post route again. It's just something you can learn from. See what your opponent is doing, think about it, and see where you can attack it. I saw what would have had success, so I was able to do that. Right there, we throw our curl, I tell you what, Probably nine times out of ten, Julio catches that ball for me. I mean, uh, Randy Moss catches that ball for me. Didn't right there. But we go to our crosser, gets over the cloud flat, and we come down with it. Huge end of the half, guys. We're up 21-10. Chance to, if we get a touchdown, the game's pretty much over. It would be 28-10. So that would be a perfect start to this half. But even a field goal is not bad. We can go up full, a full two possessions. Uh, but honestly, even if we get stopped, it will suck, but at the same time, like you're still in pretty good shape. So, right here, we're going back to um, PA Shot Wheel. We have, we're just trying to, we see that he's manning everyone up, and we just try to put out our man beaters. And right there, I really, really thought Odell would beat him. I did the math 99 speed versus 98 speed, which is what I thought Perry had, uh, which I'm 99% sure he does have 98 speed. I don't think he can get to 99. So, I really thought Odell was going to beat him over the top, and I was just going to finish the game off right there. Got really greedy, um, and I ended up turning the ball over. Not the end of the world. Um, not going to panic by any means. We're still up two possessions. Um, but we actually have played pretty pretty good defense this game, to be honest with you. So I'm not going to worry about that too much, as he gets all the time in the world right there to just hit a reroute. Um, tough to complain about it since I got one earlier in the game, but not the end of the world. Next play here, he takes off with Vic and slides down inside the five yard line. So not the best start to have for me, but like I said, I can't panic right here. Um, I'm still up, it's gonna be my ball. Um, I just need to make sure I put together some drives and don't let this game get like get out of my control. Um, and right here, we hit him deep with, uh, I believe it was Julio Jones over the top. Um, and like I told you guys at the beginning of this game, if you're gonna be taking off deep blues every play, manning your whole team up every play, I need to find the areas where I can where I can bomb you deep. Just figure out how like the spacing on it, of how far they have to travel on their cross man, and everything like that. Now, something that is noting worth noting, I accidentally locked in the Patriots playbook instead of Chargers, so I had a single back wing tight. I did not have stretch. Um, that sucked because with the stretch right there, I believe I get the touchdown, but I had to run dive. Um, so, anyways. Not the end of the world. I think I had a touchdown right there to that post, but we get hit as we throw, so we end up dropping it to the ground. 
Big play right here though. I switch it up so he had been cross manning um, circle and then staying on triangle himself. So I did the exact same motion and, and I switched the post and curl. So we had to go with the post for a second and man, it was a dot to the curl. It was a perfect adjustment to what he was doing on defense. I would do the same as I think again. I really thought I had a touchdown right there, but overthrow by Vic, can't complain. Um, perfect defense right there though. We manned up his, uh, we cross manned his post and took the playmaker ourselves. Got a sack. Now he's in a third and one situation after the pass there. Uh, we're just trying to make sure we don't give up to anything too big and uh, and we're trying to just, we, we obviously want to get stopped, but we don't want to give up anything easy. We've played pretty good defense. In a game where you play pretty good defense, you don't want to give up a 50 yard pass and an easy touchdown. You want to make them work a little bit. So. We're not giving up anything easy. We're playing pretty good defense. He got over my, my cloud with the bunch with, I think it was a route specialist corner route right there, but uh, good play by him. You see Vic, 99 speed. He almost pulls off the play of a century. It's really tough dealing with this 99 speed Vic right now. Not gonna lie. You can put whoever you want on the D-line now. My D-line isn't that fast, but to be honest with you, oh, and we baited him right there. Our D-line batted down the bait. I, I remember being mad about that, but what I was saying was, even if you have 90 speed linemen, they can't keep up with Vic. So there's almost no point of getting a 90 speed lineman when when Vic's 99. So I just go out there with like 75 speed guys and yeah, they're not gonna keep up with him, but no one really is. Right there, I was so angry. You see me put the hands on my face, pretty pissed about it. Third and 10, he runs around with Vic for an eternity and somehow gets a catch in traffic. Um, it was a tough break there. Really, nothing really I could do about that. Not gonna be mad about it. Next play here. We try to bait him into throwing that tight end route. He doesn't throw it. And he just almost gets a playmaker back from his running back. I don't know how he got such a good playmaker back on his running back. He got a really good cut for him, but ends up throwing an incompletion. Next play here, we have a spy, so we're keeping Vic in the pocket. Uh, we send our spy, and I don't know where he was throwing it. I'm guessing away, um, but we force a fourth and one. Big, big, big play here. Play of the game, and guess who makes it? Night Train Lane. I'm gonna say that the uh, the player I was playing had a bad pass lead on that uh, table route. He tried to pass lead it up to make sure he got the first down, and he ends up throwing it right to Night Train for the pick six. Pretty much sealing the game. I mean, there's 2:30 left. He does have his timeout, so if he does score a touchdown quickly, he can technically get back in the game. However, I'd have to do something really, really stupid um, to let him score that quickly. So I'm just gonna make him work. I'm playing coverage defense everywhere. Um, not giving up anything, and we get a nice little shed from Jabal Sheard there, which is, you guys see how quick of a shed that was? That's why you don't need 90 speed D linemen. You really don't. Um, they're still not gonna be any better because they're still not gonna be able to catch up to Vic, but if they wanna get a quick shed like that, Jabal Sheard will do the same thing that Bosa does. Like, it doesn't really make a difference to me. So that's how I personally feel about it. Right here, he gets an hour in the pocket and almost makes another crazy play with Vic. That's really the hardest part about dealing with Vic right now. It has nothing to do with him being a good passer. Yeah, he'll make most of the throws, whatever. It's the fact that he can just run around like a madman. That's the hardest part. But good play right there to pick up a first down. But as you guys can see, we're doing a perfect, perfect, perfect job making him take a long time. Um, and he throws another one into traffic right there, just being a little, uh, cutting a little close, but he has to score quick, so he really has to throw stuff. But as we're getting down to about a minute, right here, he makes an awesome play. Great playmaker, diagonals it. I go for the hit stick instead of the pick. I don't know if I would have gotten there, but we missed the hit stick, and he ends up getting a touchdown. Now, he goes for two. This is smart. The reason why he's going for two is to make me sweat. If he gets it, I'm thinking to myself, oh, man, I'm only up six. Like, if I get this up, I'm going to lose this game. I'm freaking out. I've dominated. I'm going to be so mad but we drew up a laser. Shout out to my guy, Manu. He was in the stream and he was in my Discord and he actually told me to run this exact setup. Uh, he told me it rather quickly, so I tried to just draw it up the way he said. I think I did it right, but worked out for me. We won the game. Good game to him. I don't know who he was, but I'm 99% sure I know who he is. Good game to him. Hope y'all enjoyed. Drop a like for me if you guys are new. Let me know in the comment section what I can improve on, but take it easy, man. Peace.